Okay, back on the road in Niagara Falls. See if we can get her kicked over. Oh yeah, baby, first try Fridays. It's your boy Steve's coming at you again. Oh! He's back again. Back again in the white boots. Oh God! That was maximum speed of miss! Oh my God! <laughs> Me gusta. <laughs> okay guys, we've got a little change of plans. We're going to South Lake. I've never been there before, but obviously it's a lake. It's got some water. We're going to have some fun there because we're going to ride our bikes in the water. Oh my god, the gravel's so loose I can't even do a wheeler. Why can't I do a wheeler? Oh, now I'm just bogging. So anyways, on the 2013 KX250, uh, the dealership told me that they were, uh, they're like these little plugs you can put in the harness and there's certain maps that you can, uh, like if you put in a black plug, that makes your bike like more aggressive, feeds it more fuel and more air. Like all I have is this, uh, I think it's a green plug in there, I don't even know where it's at. But somewhere in there there's a plug, there's like a black, a green, and I don't know if there are any more, but he said if you get the black I think that it's a more aggressive tune. So I think I'm gonna get that. The first thing I need to do to my bike is I need to fix the fork seals just because I already blew them out, which isn't good. They could have been getting bad before though when the previous owner had the bike, so I bought it used. But overall, it's been a pretty good bike. I would definitely recommend a KX250 to anybody if they were looking into their first bike. I guess if I rode on the sand, I think I would upgrade a little more. Maybe go with the KX450F, just because you have a lot more open area and you can ride a lot faster. But like on the KX250, on these tight like logging roads and even tighter like uh, technical trails, you don't get a ride as fast and you don't need a big like 450. The 450 is definitely too heavy to have in the trails. But for like wheelies, and if you like live in California, and you can make a supermoto legal, or I guess make a dirt bike legal into a supermoto, change out the tires and everything, I would definitely go for a KX450. That's my uh, little review on the KX250. Oh, but oh, look, Subi Red Bomb.